like to welcome everyone. Certainly on behalf of our student athletes, our students, university, Dr. Nolan, it's my pleasure to welcome you here. It's an exciting day. You're sitting at about, oh, maybe 20 yard line, 10, 20 yard line or so. Uh, if you have a picture of the stadium, it's exciting. We're talking about a building. And I believe Dr. Nolan, Dr. Sander, Mr. Carter, others will talk to you today that this is more than a stadium. Uh, it's about our ETSU family. Uh, we've engaged approximately 40,000 people uh, so far this year in, the, in our, uh, at our football games and other athletic events. And you're sitting in what will be our new house. Uh, and if you look around you, the painted area over here uh, in, in this roadway, that's the end zone, um, or approximately the end zone. And if you want to get an idea of where you are, the corner of the CPA there, of course in front of it, that's where the end zone will wrap around, the seating will wrap around behind us, and over there where the sheds are, that's where, the, um, uh, that's where our field house will be. And so you ask why this location? Uh, it's going to be, look very different uh, here in 2017. As you see the opening behind you or as you came down, that takes you all the way to our student center. That axis will lead right into the arch way uh, or the entrance to our football stadium. And so it will lead into the stadium. Every step that you take will take you closer to the field, which is where you're sitting now. And today we get to break ground, we get to throw footballs, and we get to uh, hopefully run a little bit of machinery. I think everyone's at a safe distance. Uh, <laughs> I understand Lieutenant Governor Ramsey knows how to run one of those and Scott Neiswanger, so uh, we're looking very much uh, forward to that. I'm going to stay on the flatbed. <laughs> uh, as we go, I'd like to say quickly, or just give one uh, a quick, uh, we're going to uh, thank a lot of people, but it's about a $23 million stadium. It'll be finished in 2017, and a lot of people have taken us to this point, certainly a lot of people internally, but externally. I see Doug McCarty is here with McCarty Wholesale and McCarty. If you'd wave your hand up in the air, I'd like to thank him for his wonderful design. And then just in the distance, I, I see the Burwell team uh, there as well. Uh, we want to thank Burwell Construction, Bill Prince, Nick Self, Chris Boyo, and others uh, who are with us today. So. And also one more person, I see Bill Rasnick. He's there in the green shirt. Wave your hand, Bill. Those people, they're going to make sure that we're on track, that this building will be built, uh, that it will look fantastic, and it will be our new home. So as we get started today, I want to introduce uh, our president who believes in our family, who believes in student activity, believes in many things, our student athletes, and all of our students here on campus. I'd like to introduce Dr. Brian Nolan. Jeremy, thank you and, and good afternoon. I, I would keep my comments very brief today, but I would like to say thank you. Thank you in particular to a couple of groups of individuals. First is thank you to the leadership of our Student Government Association. Ryan Baird, Alex Castle here today. Doretha Ben, our former SGA president, is here. Thank you for your leadership, for your commitment, and for your support, not only throughout the development of the program, but in the years to come. I also want to thank all of the students who have been part of the Marching Buccaneers. There's a lot of attention that's focused on the moving parts of the return of a program, but this is associated with the return of multiple programs and it has been a joy on Saturdays to watch the marching bucks take the field. And to our student athletes, gentlemen, it has been a pleasure to watch you on the field, but it's also been a pleasure to watch the way you represent the university and the community as a whole. You all have the opportunity to be a part of something special. Our student athletes to my left, our students in front of me and our student leaders to my right, all of you are the part of the realization of a dream, the dream of the return of football to the institution. But the most important dream is not the dream today, it's the dream in December and in May each year at commencement. That's the reason why we're here, is so that these young men and women have the opportunity to walk in the footsteps of our alum who've made this possible and realize the dream of graduating from college. That's why we're here and today takes us one step closer to that ultimate dream. I'm gonna turn it over to someone in a second, but I want to thank the leadership in our athletic department. Particularly, I want to thank Dr. Richard Sander. Dr. Sander and I had a conversation more than three years ago about his vision for this athletic department. And it was a vision of excellence across the board, 
a vision of excellence in all programs. And that vision of excellence is exemplified every day when our students put the E on either their helmets or their jerseys or whatever their respective uniform is. That commitment to excellence, that commitment to winning championships is something that exists because of the leadership of our athletic director. The gentleman, it's now my honor to introduce Dr. Richard Sander. Uh, thanks, Dr. Nolan. This is an exciting day, I guess. Oh, maybe two and a half years ago when Dr. Nolan and I met and he kind of shared with me that this was going to be the journey that we were going to embark on to uh, restart football, uh, I knew it was a big effort. Um, I had no idea how big, that's just kind of how naive I was, but it has been a tremendously big effort. And I think the reality of this is that we could have never done this without so many people like all of you here today who have come together to make something special happen. So I think what this is doing, this is really setting the course for a long time down the road because it's more about football, it's more about athletics, it's more about people coming together to get something very worthwhile accomplished. And I think all of you here today have a big part in this. So when we, um, when we play that first game in this new beautiful stadium, every one of you should feel good about that because it not only is a statement about ETSU athletics, ETSU football. It's a statement about a bunch of people making something worthwhile come together. And if we can do that down the road in just about every effort that we make, then we'll really do something special. I'd like to thank a few people because for me, you know, it's kind of one of the deals I believe in is leadership. And the way this has come together is we've got some incredible leadership from different parts of the community. And first of all, a guy who is really was kind of the guy that throughout the state was making this football initiative a reality, and that's Lieutenant Governor Ron Ramsey. So Lieutenant Governor, thank you so much. And then as we move forward, as we move forward, one of the things we're going to have to do, and Scott will talk a little bit about this later, is we're going to have to raise money. So we asked probably a couple of our prominent alumni to step forward and, and take a role in that. And um, one of the guys who you all are familiar with, um, Kenny Chesney. But the guy who really kind of is the connection with Kenny Chesney is a guy named David Farmer who went to ETSU. Those guys were students that I'm sure they had a lot of fun here in Johnson City. But David, we appreciate your work. So David, thank you. And then, of course, you know, when, when Dr. Nolan said to me, two and a half years ago, we're going to get this football thing going. I said, oh, that's great. The only problem is I don't know anything about football. So um, that was a little bit of a challenge. So I said, who do I know that probably knows more about Tennessee football, who knows how to build a program better than anybody's ever built it in the state of Tennessee? And it didn't take me long to figure out that was Philip Fulmer. So uh, Dr. Nolan and I met with Coach Fulmer. He agreed to be part of this leadership. and. Um, you know, Coach Fulmer, we appreciate you. I don't think people realize how much a uh, part of this you've been, but we thank you so much. Uh, bear with me for a minute. Um, one person who I think is everybody realizes um, is, is probably as important to this initiative as anybody. Um, guy who coaches these guys day in and day out and let me tell you he, he not only coaches them on the football field he coaches them about real life and I think that's you know when we were building this program when Dr. Nolan and I kind of came together you know that was one of the things that was important to us that we were going to create a culture that everybody in Northeast Tennessee would be proud of we're gonna win games we're gonna win championships but we're gonna win it the right way with quality people that um, learn a great deal and become really contributors to to this uh, community. So um, a guy who we can't say enough good things about, Carl Torbush. Coach Torbush. Um, I think Coach has uh, probably got a few words to say, so um, let's give a great round of applause to our football coach, Carl Torbush. Thanks, Coach. Well, first of all, let me say thank you for being here. I hadn't been to an ETSU event yet where it has not been tremendously well attended. Guys, I want to say thank you to, to you for what you've done this year. You are the foundation, just like this stadium will start a foundation on which to build a program. And I appreciate what you've done. And if y'all will, let's give those guys a hand. I 
I don't think any of us thought we'd be where we are right now because as competitors, all of us are hard-headed enough to think we're going to win every game. But I do know this, that will be the foundation on which to build championships, and that will be coming soon. So just stay with this program. And again, thank you guys for all you do, not only you but the cheerleaders, our band, and everybody that has made our program special. I do want to say thank you. This is not just a football endeavor. This is an athletic endeavor. This is a school endeavor. Uh, it's a community endeavor. It belongs to all of us. This is the ETSU family. Uh, we've got a lot of coaches from a lot of sports here. I see you out there. I want to say thank you to y'all. This is your program as well because I will recruit for you just like you recruit for us. So again, thank you. Uh, it's hard to imagine that I've been here over two years now and when we started, no weight room, no dressing room, no coaches, no players, no footballs, nothing. And now all of a sudden, we've got what we need to have to have a successful program. We owe that to Dr. Brian Nolan. I, doesn't, I know he doesn't like me bragging on him, but I am going to brag on him. We would not be here today if it were not for him. So let's give him a big hand. And lastly, I want to say thank you to all of y'all. I see all of you at events time and time and time again. Uh, I know it's a love for ETSU football. I know it's a love for ETSU athletics. But I think more important than that, it's a love for ETSU, and that's what makes this place special. And again, I am very, very proud to be your football coach. I'm very humbled to be your football coach. I'm very honored to have our coaching staff back there that have been part of building this program because obviously everything is not perfect, but it's like I tell them all, all the time, when you pour that concrete, it's soft, and there's gonna be some holes in it, but once it solidifies, and builds that foundation, then you're going to have something that can never be taken down. And that's what you have right now. Thank you. How about them bucks? <laughs> Guys, we're very, very proud of you. We're just in the beginning, and uh, today's another celebration of the beginning of this program, as Coach said. Ladies, thank you all for being here today. Please give our cheerleaders a round of applause. Today is a historic day, and it's about saying thank you to so many people and, and obviously celebrating why we all came here uh, to, today to be here and, and to enjoy this as a family, as Coach said. So I'd like to take a moment just to thank some people that we've been able to go along the way and build wonderful relationships with and thank publicly, but there's so much work that they have done behind the scenes to literally bring us to today. And the first one's right back here. Mr. Nicewanger, thank you so much. Ryan Broyles and the Broyles family from Roadrunner Markets and Dunkin' Donuts. Thank you so much, Broyles family, for all your support. They couldn't be here today with us. The Ken Simons family from Indian Wells, California. Sally Simons was in for our first football game of the season. Wonderful friends, very, very generous supporters of our program. General Shell Brick. Where's Char Charles? General Shell Brick, thank you so much. This place is going to be beautiful. You guys do such beautiful work, and we really, really appreciate you. Food City, Food City's here as well. Uh, Steve Smith's become a great friend of ours and we're very, very thankful for them and, and all they've done and Eastman Credit Union as well, Olin Jones and the leadership there. Thank you so much to our leadership group that has helped get us started. I would leave everybody out, but the reality of this is from the very beginnings, the skyboxes in this building, they're sold out. We're gonna have over 500 club seats in this building. They're halfway gone. We'll have midfield seats in this building. You better get them today. We're coming. We're going to come see everybody out there. Call your neighbors and tell them the athletic department's coming because we're going to fill this place up. We've had almost 7,300 people as averages at our games at Science Hill to watch these young men play. They are all going to enjoy great wins with your support in this building. So we need you all here for that. So please continue to be generous. Continue to thank people just like in recruiting with Coach. He's going out finding more and more great athletes to represent us. We need all of you to be there with us. We're getting ready to have a little bit of fun. Coach Torbush, come on up here with me. Right. Lieutenant Governor, if you don't mind getting in your spot. Coach has got a whistle here, so I'm going to turn this over with to him. But we're going to do three drills on Coach's whistle. Scott, you ready? Yep. All right.
Yes. All right, go Bucks! One, two, three, throw.